itch. Hello, do you have an appointment with us today? Yes, at 9 a.m. for Olivia. Okay, got you all checked in. Awesome. Olivia? You can sit in here. Hi, Olivia. I need to get some vitals from you real quick. So we're going to listen to your heart. Sounds good. Now we're going to take your temperature. Open wide. Okay. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about what's been going on? So my butt's been really itchy recently and I've been really short with people and I think it's honestly because I can't sleep at night. Do you know what's been causing you to not sleep? So my butt, like I said, has been really itchy and I can't really ever make the itching stop. So I thought I'd come in and see you guys. Okay, I'll let the doctor know. Olivia, it's great to see you. How are you doing? Not too well, but I'm hoping you can help with that. I'll, I'll sure try, but let me look over your chart real quick. Okay, so from what I've read, nothing is out of the ordinary with your vitals, which is good. Um, it does look like you mentioned to the nurse that you have an itchy rectum, you have trouble sleeping, and, and uh, you're a little bit irritable. Does that sound about right? Yeah, and I really like to get this issue resolved. Okay. Um, do you work with young children at all? Yeah, I actually work at a daycare. Oh, okay. Well, just from what I've heard, it kind of sounds like you probably have pinworms or threadworms. They're the same thing, just two different names. Um, pinworms are a type of helminth, which is a parasitic worm, and it's in your gastrointestinal system. So. I'm, I'm just going to do uh, three different tests to verify that that is actually what you have. So I'm going to need to use a scope to look at your perianal region and I'll need to take a piece of tape to collect eggs, any potential eggs that might be there. And I'm also going to have to take a sample from under your fingernails. Wait, you're telling me you have to look at my butthole? Yes, um, but first I'm going to take a sample from under your fingernail. Is it, like, going to hurt? No, it shouldn't. Okay, Olivia, I'm gonna need you to stand up and take your pants off, and then can you lay down on the bed on your stomach? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take these samples to uh, the lab, and I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Yep, that's a pinworm. Hi, Olivia. I'm sorry to say that my suspicions were correct and you do have pinworms. So, uh, I have worms. How do these pinworms work? So since you work in a daycare, I'm guessing one of the children you work with has pinworms and they transmitted the eggs onto some object that you touched and then you probably ate some food without washing your hands before. So then you ingested the eggs and then the worms hatched inside of you and they made it and then the female leaves your rectum and lays eggs around your rectum and then goes back inside and continues to do more. Well, this is just great. So what's the course of treatment? So I'm pretty sure there's three different medications that we typically use to treat this, but I'm gonna check my records real quick, just to make sure. Ah, uh, yeah. So I can prescribe you mebendazole, um, pyrantal pamoate, and albendazole. Um, mebendazole 
is gonna take the least amount of time to take effect. It's a chewable tablet that you can take twice daily for three days. I could also prescribe you the parental pomoate, which is a capsule taken a single dose, like one time, and then we wait two weeks and then you'll repeat that. And yeah, my last resort of medication would probably be the albendazole um, because it's an oral tablet taken twice daily with food for anywhere between eight to 30 days. So that's probably the one I'm least likely to prescribe you. Yeah, I think I want to go with the mabendazole. Yeah, that, that was my that was my first thought too, but I just wanted to check with you. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I'd actually like to know how to prevent from hitting these in the future, because I really don't like the idea of parasitic worms in my stomach. Okay. Yeah, so you can prevent this by, you know, just doing proper hand hygiene, washing your hands 20 seconds, make sure you get under those fingernails. That's gonna uh, wash the eggs out and prevent you from eating them when you're consuming food. Um, also, since you work at a daycare, just make sure that you sanitize the toys like as often as possible. Maybe put them in some bleach water, just get rid of any eggs that are left on the toys and that should probably do the trick. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem, it's good to see ya. I hope you get this cleared up. Can I have some hand sanitizer? Hand hygiene. Get the fingernails. Forgot the fingernails. Gotta get pen worms again. <laughs> now I need to get your temperature. I forgot to say open wide. Let's listen to that hard. <laughs> It doesn't ever really stop itching, and I think that's... <laughs> it looks like you mentioned to the nurse that you do have an itchy rectum. <laughs> um, it does look like you mentioned to the nurse that you have... <laughs> Gotta get ready. I don't want to know, like, how I can prevent myself from getting... <laughs> Yeah, so I'd actually know how to prevent myself. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd actually like to know how to prevent. <laughs> and I'm also going to have to take a sample from under your fingernails. Wait, you're telling me you have to look at my butthole? <laughs> Bowl of oatmeal. You thicker than a snicker, heavy like a Chevy. Come on, little mama, and then we'll my buddy. Hey, hey, I'm not a rest. Does it say trust papers. computer unit? No. <laughs> Wait, what's the Napoleon dance? It's a... Yes! 